Let's start in Paris, shall we? What was a huge night on the track at the Stade de France. We've just seen the 200 metre final. It was absolutely incredible. All the pre-race talk was about this man, the 100 metre champion, Noah Lyles. But look how far back he is from the man that stormed to victory. Let's see Le Tobogo. Absolutely phenomenal. He kept himself in contention round the bend. Looked so strong, yet so smooth on that home straight as well. And even eased up uh, before the line to take the gold medal and Botswana's first ever gold medal at an Olympics. Let's get some reaction to this. Head over to Paris right now, where Miriam Walker Khan uh, is ready for us to speak to. Miriam, great to see you. What a race! How much of a surprise was that result? I think it was a shock for everyone. Noah Lyles was aiming to be, like you said, Jess, the first man since Usain Bolt to win that sprint double, and he's not done it. He was hoping to be the ninth, uh, the tenth man in history to get that double ever. Again, he's not done it. And like he said, we focused on him so much because he had so much confidence in that 100 metres uh, final at the weekend. And so we absolutely thought he was going to do this. He is a 200 metre man. That's his event. And so there was less pressure for this event. But this is something that uh, Let's Silly Tobogo will thrive off as well because people want to beat Noah Lyles and that is Botswana's first Olympic gold medal. He executed that race perfectly, he had the fastest time in qualifying. He's just 21 years old, let's silly Tobago, but he's already won a world 100 metre silver, a 200 metre bronze medal. So not to be for, lower, not for Noah Lyles and even his teammate, in fact, American Kenny Bednarek uh, was second. So it's a bronze for Noah Lyles, he'll be bitterly disappointed with that. Uh, the last sprint double from the USA uh, was Carl Lewis. That's 40 years ago. And Noah Lowes talks a lot about wanting to emulate uh, Usain Bolt and be the best that there is. So he'll be massively disappointed with that because he, he talks the talk. He walked the walk in the 100 metres, or he walked it very fast. He didn't do that tonight. And like I said, he is a 200 metre man. That is his event. He's got three world titles from the, from the past three uh, world championships in the 200. And so that is his event. It's what he reigns supreme in. So this is a shock to everyone, but amazing for Botswana and their first ever Olympic gold medal in that event. Oh, my God. They will be celebrating, I'm sure, back in Botswana and uh, all the Botswanas around the world, I'm sure. What an incredible achievement by him. We did see Noah Lyles, though, uh, on the track, looking in some distress after the race. He was later taken off uh, on a wheelchair, looking uh, quite uncomfortable. Uh, medics were around him. There were question marks as to whether he might have had COVID going into the race. Are you hearing anything about Noah Lysel's condition? We've not heard anything about COVID, but we'll have to see what reports say. And of course, he was meant to be doing the 4x100 relay. He was also going to possibly do the 4x400 relay because if he won a gold in all those events, he would have been the first um, athlete since Cole Lewis. And uh, Jesse Owens is the only other athlete who's done that to get four golds on the track for USA. So we've not heard reports yet. We've not had that confirmed. He doesn't look well. He also has asthma, Noah Lyles, and he struggled that with that for years throughout his childhood. He talks about it really openly. And, uh, yeah, he doesn't look well there. He doesn't look his usual self. He, he came bounding onto the track when they, uh, when they set the line-up and he looked incredibly confident, literally sprinted on. We were saying how it felt like he was wasting a bit of energy, but he looked ready for it. So if he does have COVID, that would be a, a shock. But like I said, he's got asthma, and so we don't know what... We've, we don't, we've not had any reports yet, but, yeah, he, we, we'll wait to see if he's in that relay.